Exactly what they need to do against this Team USA team that does apply the pressure on the full court. Village passes to the corner. Three attempt. Goes in. Anapovich for three. To the basket. Blocked. Going the other way. Olivia Vacosa. Saw the block by Vacosa. The United States for two during the visit to the stripe. Up the sideline to the inside, and the first field goal comes about four minutes in. Moves the ball to the interior. Post move. Vacosa for two. Back and forth, United States goes at the top from the corner and drops it in. A members only discord if you sign up. Corner three at the break, drops it in. Could be a lot closer, we'll have to see. Right now it is a tight contesting game, pass to the inside, Robinson. Receives the pass through a needle of an eye. Defended by Wolitsko. Wolitsko gets a block. So tough sledding for Leo Vukic. To the corner for three. Expands the lead to six. One minute remaining. As I don't follow them as closely, but I have gone to a couple games. And I've been in person. It was mostly when I visited Orlando for vacation against Egypt in the next stage. Ball going to be tipped away, saved by Palmer. Fast break to the basket, up for two, and good. Maniaka. Top performers on both sides for each team as we see a three rattle in for United States. Number eight, Manyaka, that's her second three-pointer of the game. But for United States, their leading score is Jersey Robinson with nine points. Seven of those points come from the charity stripe as she's seven for eight. Haley Swain has seven points and as I just mentioned, Ivana Manyaka has eight. Well, there have been others in the past whenever they were younger moving on to professional basketball. Brittany Griner is another example. Uh, Asia Wilson, a couple of top players in the women's basketball stage. I agree because I thought about it as I was saying it and Bilbo, I'm not going to get into that. Lisko is a top softball player in NorCal. Good to know. I'm excited that uh, for LA 28 for Olympics, they've announced that they have a location for the softball Olympics. It's an interesting choice as they've chosen to have it in Oklahoma City which makes sense because it's one of the biggest facilities for softball they also have rowing and other water sports that will be happening in Oklahoma City for the Olympics in 2028 44-23 a 21 point lead for United States 3 from the corner drops in no problem for Laney Grant To keep hitting that like button if you, if you haven't hit it already. We're looking to get to up to 300 likes at least. Maybe close to 400 if we can. Your support is always appreciated. It's going to be Emily Skinner with the rebound. 
She'll look and pass to Swain, who's underneath the bucket, ready to receive it and take the shot. Shot clock is dead with exactly 24 seconds. Who's my favorite team for the NHL? There is one in Oklahoma. Uh, there is smaller level teams available. And I said, introduce myself. Introduce yourself, Mr. Commentator. I'm Justin Taylor. And before I go any further, John Bernal has signed up with a dollar ninety-nine, which is the two-dollar donation. But have had opportunities to call esports events as well as work with the social media team with where I'm a proud Thunder fan but I am a huge fan of international basketball always love to watch it especially here on YouTube when they have it available and it's free a shout out to Yasmin as they have signed up for the MVP level of the FIBA YouTube membership program they'll have access to all the benefits one is that's available for everybody, the member-only Discord, but there's also a special founded by J.C. Abbey. Baseline underneath, up for two, an easy two points for Alexander Eschmeyer. Hip going the other way, fast break. Bjorn, layup is good. Expanding the lead. To Skinner passes off. Inside the paint, up for two. And one opportunity for 83-43. 20 seconds remaining. Baseline drive puts a floater up into the hands of Addison Bjorn. Bjorn kicks off. Skinner, three, good. Around the perimeter, quick three, off the backboard and good. We'll let it count, even though they didn't call backboard. Now three by Lori's Lapidar. They will face off against Egypt tomorrow, while Croatia, they will have the number three spot and they will face off against France. You can check out that game on the other live feed here on FIBA's YouTube. But that score of 25-24 comes after a huge three by Romero from Mexico. In the right corner of the chat and clicking super chat once you submit your $2 Super Chat, you'll be entered in for the basketball. Layup on the fast break is good for J.C. Abbey. She has five points on the game. Scoring leaders for the United States, Haley Swain with 17 points, Jersey Robinson with 14. Italy has expanded their lead back out to a five-point lead as it's currently 29-24. Eurostep up for two. It does count. Bjorn with another chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Currently has seven points. Free throw is no good. Offensive rebound by Eschmeyer. Up for two and good. Eschmeyer made the assist as Bjorn ended up with the ball, and she got the two points. A steal attempt by Abby does not result in a res in a steal. Instead, there is a steal. In this game, that was her first shot attempt. Apologies, her second shot attempt. Both of them were three pointers that she missed. Look back at all. Drive to the basket, kick underneath. It's going to be stolen by the United States. A U.S. player is slow to get up at the other end, but I believe they're fine. 
Drive, floats a shot, and good. They're moving the ball well until they're not fully paying attention on where they're passing to. J.C. Abbey is. Another steal for United States. This one by Skinner. And she'll take it herself for two. Floats a shot off balance. Well defended by Manyaka. Bajorn to the inside. Up for two. Swirls around. Drops in. And that is another two points for Manyaka, who has 19 points in the game. She's 7 for 10 from the field. Ripped away quickly by Bajorn. Skinner's with her. Fakes the pass to Skinner. Tries to take it herself. No good. Manyaka now 21 points. Latour Green with a question. Are FIBA games always played in Mexico? No, they are not. The last U-17 World Cup was held in Debrecen, Hungary. As the time ticks away, this game is pretty much locked in on its final. The United States takes the number one spot in their group. 